Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Carrie Lazarus in for Christie. Central New York making national news this afternoon following the murder of a Utica teenager. Police have charged 21 year old Brandon Clark of Cicero with second degree murder after they say he stabbed 17 year old Bianca Devins early Sunday. Police say he then posted photos of Devin's body on social media. News Channel Line's Julia LeBlanc is live in Oneida County this afternoon. Julia, still a lot of questions, but the most obvious is why. That's right, Carrie. Lots of questions. I spoke with the Oneida County District Attorney Scott McNamara this afternoon, and he tells me they're all just looking for the motive. Now, police do have the phones of both Clark and Devins, and they're trying to figure out if they can track their locations and possibly any text messages between the two. Now, police believe that on Saturday night they left a concert in Queens, and they say it's possible Devins had kissed another man, upsetting Clark. They're now looking to see if they can get any video from that concert venue and Easy Pass records in case the two traveled along the New York State Thruway. They're also not sure if they went straight from Queens to Post Street in Utica, where Devin's body was found, or if Clark possibly stopped to pick up the knife he allegedly used to kill Devin's. The DA telling me the social media component of this case is actually complicating their efforts. The social media is making that, you know, making that much more, you know, difficult for us to really put it all together because of, like, I, you know, when were these accounts created, the names that were used for these accounts, things that he posted on these accounts. Now, I did reach out to Facebook and they tell me that yesterday afternoon, as soon as they were made aware of the photos, they took down every account they believe was Clark's. Live in Utica, Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9. Julia, thank you. And the family of Bianca Devon says if you see any Internet fundraisers and donation sites in her memory, do not give them money because they are fake. The family plans to set up a scholarship program in the future. To read the full statement from the Devons family, download the News Channel 9 app.